Hi everyone, and you are welcome to Single Responsibility Principle Lecture. I would like to start this lecture by a quick question. Assume that you have a project in which you have to implement multiple functionalities. Should you in this case create one class having all the functionalities or create one class for each functionality? To understand the answer of this question in details, join me in this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to talk about what SRB is. Then we will see a practical use case in order to see how to use this principle. And finally, I'll end up this lecture by a quick summary. So let's get started. So what's SRB? Simply, this principle states that any class should have one and only one job. In other words, be sure to not overwhelm your class with not related tasks. And sometimes we call this principle separation of concerns. So I could use these two terms interchangeably during this lecture. Now let's move to Jupyter Notebook in order to see the practical use case that discusses this principle. Alright, now let's understand this principle by implementing a real application. Let's assume that we want to build an application to organize the operations inside the library. So first of all, in order to build such an application, I will create a class for library, which will be the main class in this application. We know that inside the library, we should have books. So within the constructor, I will create an empty dictionary for these books. Why I choose dictionary? Because I want to save two things about each book. The name of the book will be the key inside this dictionary and the price of that book will be the value inside this dictionary. Now let's say that this class should support adding and removing books from this library. So how to do that? I will define a method, its name add book, which will take the name and the price of the book and how to add it, it's quite easy because this is a dictionary. So all what you have to do is just direct assign of this value to the key name. And let's say I want to remove book using its name. All what I have to do is just using del function with self.books using name. Let's define one more method to print the books that are available inside this library, which will help me to know what are the books that I already have. So I can say print self.books and let me just print a dummy line here in this function. All right, if I run, no error, which means everything is okay. Let's try to define an object from this library and let's add one book to this library. Let's say it's named book one and let's say its price is 50 USD dollar, for example. And let's see the available book inside this library right now using the method print books. If I run, you will see that inside my library right now, I have one book. All right, let's assume that this class now is ready and I move this class to a production environment and I can say right now that my library can support two main operations. I can add books and I can remove books from the library. Now, let's say we want to extend the functionalities that my library support. Assume that I want to make my library sell books to customers. So how to do that? Let's see. First of all, I'll create a list to store all the sold books. Also, I'll create a variable to calculate the total income that we will have in this library. And here I will add a method, its name sell book, which will take one parameter, which is the name of the book that we want to sell. And usually how we sell a book, let's say just we assume that we increase the total income that we have by the price of this book. So I have to say self.books and here I will say name. Also, don't forget to append to the sold books the name of book that has been sold like here self.soldbooks.append name let's run no error everything works well let's test this let me say library dot sell book and let's say the book that i want to sell is book one and let me say library dot print total income i know that my class doesn't have this method so let's create it it's very simple it just def print total income self and all what i will do is the following i'll say print self dot total income and i will print a demi line now let's get back to here and let's run. So you will see that these are the books that I have inside the library and the total income so far is only 50 because the library has sold only one book. But hold on, let's try to analyze what has been implemented. First of all, I create a library class. In this class, I add two main functionalities which are related to adding and removing books from the library. But when I decided to add a new functionality that's related to selling book, I add this functionality inside the previous class. And this will break the SRP principle, single responsibility principle. Why? Because right now my class has more than one functionality. And this will harm my class, will overwhelm my class by a lot of functionalities. 
you will ask why this is not very recommended let me tell you because assume that you are building a real software and usually building a software is an incremental process from time to time you will add new features so if you come to your classes the original classes that you have and you try to add new features to your software by updating the original classes that you have you could make some mistakes which mean the classes that already tested and work without any problem could start to have some problems in the future because you are updating these classes and this is not recommended at all so usually when we want to add new features to our application we have to make our software extendable by creating new classes not by updating the available classes that we have and you can say this is another way to rephrase srp principle because in srp they say don't overwhelm your class by functionalities so now if you ask me what is the best way to solve the same case study that i am showing right now let me show you I'll take this code, I'll move one step, I will come to here. All what we have to do is dividing the functionalities in a logical way into multiple classes, like the following. I'll say class, library, books, and this class will have the same init method, will have add and remove book methods, and also it will have this method which will print the book that I have. That's all for this class. Next, in order to support sales operation, I will not add anything to this library books class. I will define a new class. I will call it library sales operation like this. And I will assume now that my class will take an object from library books. So I will say library books. And because it's an object, let's say all the letters are small letter. And here, let me say self dot library books equal to library books. And below this class, now I will define this method, which is cell book, as you see here. And now cell book will have access to library books here, as you see, dot books. Also, let's take this class, which is print total income and put it here because this class will print the total income. So you will see right now that in this way, I divided the functionalities into two classes, which are library books and library sales operations. And let's say in the future, I want to build, for example, a recommendation system for books. So in this case, all what I have to do is just define a new class for books recommendation and start implementing the functionalities that this class needs. So in this way, I will extend my software by adding new classes, not by updating the original classes and overwhelming them by new functionalities. So this is all for this case study. Now let's summarize what we have learned in this lecture. In this lecture, mainly we talked about what SRP is and we see that this principle states that any class should have one and only one job. And usually, we satisfy this principle by keeping our classes focused to do one job only. Now please refer to the lecture resources in order to find some challenges to practice what you have learned in this lecture. Thank you so much for your time and if you are available, join me in the next lecture.